What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So I got kind of some exciting news. So this weekend, which is Memorial Day, we will be going to the Wisconsin River and actually going to be doing some river camping. Now, the cool thing about the Wisconsin River is that majority of the islands on the actual uh, river are uh, public or national land. Um, a lot of those are listed through uh, BLM, uh, which is a national organization, and they're pretty much free go in order to camp. Now, from where we're actually going to be launching from, is it could be a little bit of a hike. It could actually take, uh, it usually is about a mile and a quarter uh, to get to that first set of islands that we want to go to, but we are going to be actually trying maybe to go farther down to be truly honest, we don't really know what to expect. The water has been very low, so that island should be able to uh, sustain us for the actual night. Now, we are taking minimal equipment because we are taking the kayaks. So, with taking the kayaks, you are very limited with the amount of space and equipment you can take. So, this can be... Uh, a case of a survival challenge, even though we are still going to be packing food and we are be pa are packing necessities. So uh, when it comes to it, I want to do a huge unboxing for camping. Now, there's a lot of stuff that I actually needed for camping still, and um, this is just some of them. So this is popping in. So I got I got these little juice pouch things and basically they come in a, in a seven pack and i figured because they don't need to be refrigerated this will be good for like a little snack midday anything along those lines um in order to feed us for the actual day so realistically what we're actually going to bring for food is we're going to be bringing this maybe a couple of miscellaneous other stuff and then something um that we call in my family pudgy pies so if you guys do not know what a pudgy pie is they're absolutely delicious we are actually going to be cooking some pudgy pies um on site so i will be showing that footage for you guys in order to kind of for you guys to kind of grasp what we, what a pudgy pie really is the next matter of business is a shovel, a portable shovel. So a lot, all these sites on the Wisconsin River, they don't come with a fire pit. So you gotta make your own. Um, I, I wanted to go with something with like a low, like a low key shovel, uh, something like handheld, um, not too cumbersome, very small. So I got this. And what it, the cool thing about this one is, this is a, a actual a Coleman. Um, portable shovel and pick is that this pick right here at the end can help me get the clay out of the ground now I don't know what to expect majority of the the beaches are pure sand but we might end up encountering some sort of clay so it would be good to kind of have this and then the nice thing about this shovel is all you do is just untwist and it comes with a actually a pretty pretty nice uh portable bag so moving on to the next one and the last one of the actual first box is that i don't have many like actually camp lights for my actual tent um i have a pretty nice eddie bauer tent that we are going to be using and um, all my lights that I'm bringing with me are either for my GoPro or are, are going to be for shore fishing into the night in some sort of way. The nice thing is, though, we will have a fire going. And so that will also uh, free up some of the light as well. But I wanted something for if we're going to watch a movie uh, that night on my phone is an actual portable light to actually get set up. So this is a rechargeable LED camping light and now there's two ways that you can actually charge this thing one is through cord and you can have it pre-charged and it folds up nicely or you can actually put this out in the sun and it can be solar charged um it's supposed to be very very nice this weekend so i'm going to use that solar charge and power that down and the nice thing is 
it flattens out. I don't know if you can see on the box, but it flattens out just like that and will unfold. So it's not cumbersome at all. And I, I'm going to basically put it in our tent for a night before we go to bed. That way we're not fussing around with other lights and all that stuff. We will have a little portable light. Now, next one. In order to open this one, I figured we need a big knife. This one I am super excited about. So this this is boring. This is uh, for our kayaks for when you're traveling down the road. Um, basically, they're bow and stern straps in order to secure them more safely. But the cool one, this is the what I'm most excited about in here is this. Now, some of you may actually know this company. I am not too familiar with the actual company, um, but it got pretty good reviews on Amazon. And it was very, very low priced. Now, obviously, we're gonna need firewood in some sort of way. I'm bringing my little uh, muddy, portable handsaw that I use for typically hunting um, but realistically that isn't going to do enough as far as um, as far as creating firewood this is awesome I uh, I got an axe uh, specifically I got a hatchet so let's just take a look how do you, uh, how do you take this thing off Wow, it's actually, a, it's actually a nice little case. So, let's take a look at this bad boy. So, this hatchet had like five out of five stars on Amazon. And this thing was $14. I mean, check that sucker out. That thing. There's something I can cut. Dude, dude, dude. The thing is sharp. That was like a, a sight, a nice, like, baby tap. That th This thing is gonna be awesome. And it's nice and light, which is even better. So, I got this, like I said, so we can cut down trees. Not trees, but branches in order to um, in order to have some sort of firewood. Now, the cool thing is about all this going to be going on is that we're also, it's going to be a two part video. So the first part is going to be the actual two days of, not even two days, 24 hours of survival on the thing or on the island. I'm going to show you guys what I do for prepping fire and all that stuff. And uh, the other part of the video or the other part of the actual uh, two part video is going to be fishing. So specifically, I bought some really, really heavy duty braid. And I don't know how this stuff is going to work to be sure you guys. I usually go with Power Pro um or i will go with um something as far as like a high class braid uh for my rods but i just kind of resist 12 dollars for a uh, 50 pound braid and i mean to be truly honest like this braid doesn't feel honestly too bad um and basically what this is for is for both catfishing rods so we will be tomorrow, there will be a reel delivered, and it's my catfish reel. And this will be going on that, as well as going on the other catfishing rod. I have a bait casting catfishing rod, and then I have uh, a spinning catfishing rod. Um, the spinning catfishing rod is really good for three-way um, three swivels. Um, it's really good for drop weights and all that stuff. Um, that's what I typically I use it for, and I have it um, with a Shimano rear drag um, reel. Not a very high-end one, but I have 
hook that reel to the test. It can handle anything. I really, really do like that reel for it being such a low uh, price point reel. And then the other one I have is an Akuma Classic, which is gonna be delivered tomorrow. And that's a, a classic baycasting reel, um, round reel style with an actual dual setting in order to have the line pull out. Um, the goal, is to catch a river monster. Now, the Wisconsin River is notorious for a few fish species in specific, and one of which is the flathead catfish. Now, the area that we go um, in the Wisconsin River by this dam, the guy who owns the bait store there has told me stories of people catching 70 pound flatheads and flatheads that will actually snap a musky rod and he's actually seen it so we're going to be going after one of those giants i am really excited I've never caught a flathead catfish before they're pretty hard to target in wisconsin there's not a lot of areas that have a uh, great abundance of them and uh, so we will be putting out the big catfishing route with some live bait um, in order to try to catch that, it'll be a big live bait. It'll be probably like a sucker, um, a really big sucker, like a musky sucker or something uh, that we'll put on there. Um, and then we will be putting out some night crawlers on the other one, and hopefully we'll catch whatever. And we'll also be doing some walleye fishing. That I haven't really heard too much about where the smallmouth are in that actual river quite yet. To be truly honest, I haven't had much luck fishing for smallmouth there at all. Realistically, when I go fishing and on the Wisconsin River, I typically target either walleyes, carp, or uh, catfish. More predominantly catfish because there's some big catfish. Actually, my PB um, catfish came off of the actual Wisconsin River. Uh, it was an eight pound channel catfish, which is still not that big, but it's decent enough and I actually came off an ultralight fishing rod and uh, I will put the link to that video down in the description um, that is a sweet sweet video but to end this video here this is our first ever unboxing on our channel but it's it's not too exciting it's just about a bunch of survival campy stuff I didn't want to show you the stuff that I've got from the store um, basically I just got some miscellaneous camping stuff uh, for our trip uh, but this is right here is our survival stuff right here this is some two really key things this is the shovel and the actual axe so i'm really excited about this i think that this could be a very very cool video and i'm um, trying to ex explore a little bit more about different stuff here on youtube uh, basically with my channel being a complete outdoors channel uh, I want to try to explore multiple areas in order to try to make an overall outdoors channel. Um, primarily, we do fishing, we do hunting, and then we're going to start doing camping and we start doing some ki short kayak videos. Um, those kayak videos are going to be um, short and to the point. Basically, they're like, they're like high, or scenery and uh, nature uh, based and basically just trying to get the background and make it look nice. Um, typically they'll last anywhere between 30 seconds and two minutes if it's a longer trip. So, um, hope you guys are enjoying the content. Please comment below if you like this style of unboxing, um, because if you guys do, uh, this will be uploaded momentarily and I will actually show you the unboxing of my what I call my prize possession catfishing rod and how I'm actually going to rig it up and what I'm going to actually put on there. So if you guys like the style of unboxing and kind of having realistically weapons <laughs> unboxed and then I mean, pretty soon here we'll get some firearms unboxed for you guys and move on from there. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you on the next one.